Coronavirus cases have risen to 8.1 per 100,000 people. County health officials say those numbers need to roll back before we fall into the purple tier, which would force more businesses to close again. News 8's Brandon Lewis breaks down the numbers for us tonight. Now, Carlo and Barbara Lee, that new case rate is enough to put us into tier one. And so a countdown is underway to potentially putting us in that purple zone. However, it is not a foregone conclusion. The state today says it wants to help work with San Diego County to better understand why this case rate is happening and hopefully prevent us from getting into that tier. San Diego's coronavirus case rate continued increasing Tuesday now at 8.1. While the county says we risk moving into purple next week, the state says we're not going anywhere just yet. We want to be slow in the forward movement so we can have some certainty and make sure that any decision to move a county into a more restrictive tier is done thoughtfully with a lot of deliberation to ensure that we don't cause businesses or communities to feel sort of stuck in the middle going back and forth. The state says there's no single reason why the case has increased, although online there is some finger pointing at SDSU students. Public Health Officer Wilma Wooten says without the more than 600 SDSU cases, we would still be in the upper tier two range. The university is now mandating testing for students living on campus, although about 75 percent of cases are from students living off campus. It's easy to play Monday morning quarterback. There have been a lot of intelligent people who've been working arduously with a plan that was approved in consultation with the county and through our chancellor's office with the CSU system. The guidance has changed, and thus so our response has changed. While the county says we're at risk to move into Tier 1 next week, Dr. Galley indicated the state is reluctant to move any county back just three weeks after the new rate launched unless absolutely necessary. If collectively there's a real belief that um, slowing things down, putting things on a pause, even moving to a more restrictive tier is going to help us get through the coming months. The state is certainly prepared to do that. The case rate is updated weekly, and the next one will come next Tuesday. If it is indeed enough to stay in the tier one level, that could make San Diego the first county in California to backslide under the new case rate tier system.